You look haunted somehow, as though you've seen something terrible. Tell me, please, what did you see? A, a dragon? You saw an actual living dragon? But that's impossible, surely? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to question your reliability. If you say you saw a dragon, then who am I to doubt you? But don't you think if a dragon destroyed Helgen, that the people nearby should be warned? Isn't there a village right on its doorstep? Riverwood, I think it's called. Then what are we waiting for? Those people are counting on us. So you're off to see the Yarl of Whiterun then? They wouldn't let me into Dragon's Reach. Apparently I wasn't important enough. But with you, I might get away with it. As long as they don't remember that incident when a criminal escaped because I was... distracting the guards. They say that dragons have returned to Skyrim. The Helgen attack does not bode well. I wonder if the Jarl of Whiterun knows he has a giant lizard problem. If not, he may reward us for the information. Yes, information is usually worth something to someone. And in this case, it could help save lives. Prospect and Peril have always been bedfellows, but... These are strange times we live in, my friend. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. Particular talents? Go to Bleak Falls Barrow, find this tablet, no doubt interred in the main chamber, and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. This is so exciting! We're off to explore a genuine Nordic ruin! There'll be so much to study! So much to record! What fun! So long as the place isn't full of zombies, of course. But then, what are the chances of that? So the Jarl wants you to go to Bleak Falls Barrow to retrieve some ancient artifact? <laughs> Sounds like my kind of adventure. Although I'm a little worried about the Draugr. I doubt my famine and beauty is going to cut it with those guys. I doubt they even have any... You know, the difference between a man and a woman. I wonder what Farangar plans to decipher from this dragon stone. I heard Lucan yelling the other day about a thief breaking into a store. It wasn't me, honest. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. I suppose it's too much to ask that these bandits will just hand the golden claw over if we ask them nicely. I do not like the smell of this place. Let us just find that dragonstone and get out of here. I don't like this place. If you see something move, kill it. If it talks, uh, 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 kill it if it moves. So, this must be Bleak Falls Barrow. I like what they've done with the place. It's well lit, but decrepit, dusty, and webby. Kind of like the castle, actually. Though, I think the Draugr might one day benefit from some janitorial duties. I mean, yeah, why wouldn't I be? It's a Nordic ruin, an old burial tomb with some enfeebled undead walking about. And maybe some bandits, but no big deal. This may be one of your first trips to places like these, but not for me. I've been to these kinds of ruins before, back in my own time. And the Draugr were gullible, to say the least. Meaning, they're kind of stupid and easy to deal with. Still, though, let's keep our guard up. While I am lax, it's never a good idea not to stay focused on a dungeon crawl. So, let's move and find us that... whatever it is. This place reminds me of the Bard's College. It's full of old and dusty stiffs. They Kill say it. actions speak louder than words, so I'll let my weapons do the talking. Ah, it. Ew, that Kill hurt. It. He may be a thief, but we still can't leave him like this. We'll have to cut him down. What a good swit. Good thing he got what was coming to him. I guess Arvo the Swift wasn't as quick as his name suggested. Ha! <laughs> right you are, friend. I'll have to leave some room in my pack for a bit of the riches we'll find. And nothing like a few waves of Draga to keep us on our toes. Part of me actually likes that they keep coming back for more. Keeps it challenging. 
Sure, why not? They're brainless walking dead. Perfect practice, dummies. Of course, the fact they don't bleed kinda defeats the purpose of carving. Still, they make a nice poof sound when they expire into dust. Ha! <laughs> right, maybe I am. Well, let's go. We've got a golden claw to find and a merchant to appease. Yes, boys! Screaming yeah. oh, in pain! That makes the fight that much more fun. <laughs> That feels good. What if my fleas die here? Will I have a bunch of zombie parasites living on me? Oh, gods. Son of a be on guard. Those puzzle doors were more often used to lock things in, not out. I will not end up like you. All that live must die. Some sooner than others. Phew. That was quite the battle. Slightly terrifying. Glad we didn't die. And look! You have a fancy rock! What's that? A tablet? That's probably what we've been looking for, but it certainly does look underwhelming. There seems to be some inscriptions on it, though. Even I can't make them out. Too ancient. Even for me. Anyway, let's head over to Whiterun and give this stone to Farangar. But first, wouldn't you like to stop by Riverwood? You know, to return the claw back to Lucan and get our reward, then enjoy a nice, well-deserved rest. All right, let's head back over there. 